Okay guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to be looking at the new EZA details for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So alright, let's go ahead, let's hop in. So as you know, the homie Goresh here has uh, the translations, but because this, is, this appeared last night, we also do have the translations already up here on the Dokkan Wiki. Alright, so Super Saiyan 4 Goku... Uh, again, both of them are going to get their easy A's. We knew this was confirmed in the news. Uh, again, so there's going to be two separate Extreme Z battles for a total of 60, uh, 60 stones, which is really, really good. Uh, and both of these guys are going to be weak to the Artificial Life Forms category, which we'll take a look in just a bit. Alright, so Goku is Super STR 3 key in 130% to stats, and he is Extreme STR 3 key in 90% to stats, so... Um, ideally, he is going to be the new Super STR leader uh, in Dokkan Battlefield. He is the, he, he is the unit that you want to be running there. And then um, Vegeta literally has the same leader skill, except it's for Super AGL and then for Extreme AGL. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's talk about this Goku. So, his new Super Attack effect is that he greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage to the enemy, greatly lowers defense and then raises defense by 30% for six turns um, So I don't think a whole lot changed when it came to a super attack effect Just maybe like a couple stuff in here because yeah before he still did 30% for six turns But at least now he's greatly raising attack uh, And then greatly lowering defense which really doesn't do a whole lot in the grand scheme of things but, um, you know, I think it would have been better if they could have at least put maybe Greatly Lower's attack and defense just to give him a little bit more of a better super attack effect. And I am a little disappointed that they didn't bump this up to 50%. But, um, again, he is, like, basically a Dokkan Fest easy A. So, you know, I can see why they didn't want to go too crazy with this unit. Um, Alright, so his passive is 150% attack, so that remains the same. And then he gets 120% to defense, which is really good because before he didn't have any defense because all he had was attack and then medium chance of evading enemy super attacks. And then he gets an additional 40% attack when performing a super attack. And then he has us and then he still has the 30% chance to evade enemy super attack. So um, again, he is really, really good just based off of this. Uh, again, the fact that they gave him defense just makes him absolutely crazy. Uh, the reason for that is because if you take a look at his stats, you know, after he completely gets his EZA, you know, all you know, all the stats buffs are there. He has, like, over 10,000, which is really, really solid. Um, again, I do think Vegeta might be a little bit better defensively than him, you know, like, start of turn, turn one. Uh, because, again, Vegeta doesn't have to build up, unlike this Goku who does. But, um, again, I think the fact that you know he's able to do it for six turns is really is really really impactful because 120 percent to defense and your defense is at around 10k his start of turn defense like even if we lowball it let's say it's 90 let's let's let's, let's just go with 90k again that's pretty low again this is a 120 percent buff but i'm just gonna lowball it and make it 90 just because it's easier to do the uh, uh to do the math that way 30 percent of 90 is 30 um actually no it's technically like 28 but like let's just go with 30 because i am lowballing him to begin with anyways so even if we do the fact that he only does one super each turn after his first super attack his defense is 90k he gets 30 percent boom next turn he's at 120 30 percent of 120 is 40k boom we do that again he's at 160k and keep in mind he has one more turn of raising his defense by 30 percent for six turns boom he, he is at 160k uh defense we, we take 30 percent of that which is like um 80k boom you add that he's over 200k defense with this final defensive stat i'm not even counting additional supers <laughs> the bare minimum is that this guy is going to be over 200k defense fully built up and again i am lowballing him his start of turn defense that I put him at is 90k. And he ends up with over 200k. And he has 120% defense at the start of turn with 10,000 to his defensive stats. So this Goku is good. Uh, just keep that in mind. This Goku is extremely good. 
Um, again, these Super Saiyan 4s didn't really need a whole lot added to them. Really, all they needed, like, even if we look before, was just slap defense. Keep this the same. Goku would have been already super good. Like, <laughs> not, not, not a lot needed to be done to these units to make them good. Again, especially with Goku, you know? Because this effect is super powerful. Raising defense for six turns is super, super good. You know, he has, he has a great attack, actually. Like, almost, like, 20,000 to attack. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. That's like LR level right there. Like 20,000 is LR level. And the fact that he gets 40% of it on attack as well, uh, something that I didn't mention because I usually tend to focus on the defensive side uh, because of the new, you know, like legendary GT Goku event, which by the way, he's going to be super good in. Um, again, I don't suspect this Goku's going to struggle like at all during that event. So he's just like another great unit that you can run in there to help you with the uh, Giant 8 power um, you know, uh, category mission for the GT Legendary Goku Ben. Because, uh, again, gets 150% attack with almost 20k, you know, <laughs> uh, attack. And then the fact that he also gets another attack buff on Super Attack, which we all know does a lot more damage than it actually seems, because whenever you get defense or attack on your Super Attack, it factors in differently, it multiplies out differently, so it really does a lot more damage than it seems. And then he's also greatly raising attack for one turn. So this Goku's going to hit very hard, but also be very solid defensively. So again, already the Super Saiyan Force are really, really good. And then his Link set as well, if we take a quick look at it, is Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepared for Battle, Shocking Speed, Kamehameha, GT, and Fierce Battle. Uh, again, his Link set is super good because literally on every single team, they're going to have Prepared for Battle or Shocking Speed. You know? So, this Goku is just gonna absolutely dominate no matter where he is. Because, yeah, like, just, just, let's just take a look at, look at his categories. Pure Saiyans, prepare for battle. All of them have it. So, that is a universal two key link. So, again, this Goku's not gonna be struggling for key. Goku's family, I don't even need to say anything. They're gonna have things like Super Saiyan, prepare for battle, shocking speed, Kamehameha. Uh, Giant 8 Power, Boom, Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, GT, Turtle School, which is basically every single Goku in the game, again, <laughs> uh, Miraculous Awakening, AGL Master Jui Goku, he's gonna have things like Shocking Speed, Kamehameha, Fierce Battle, Prepare for Battle, so this Goku shares 4 out of 7 links with AG, uh, AGL Master Jui Goku, who is probably the best unit in the game, so, again, this Goku already is looking very, very good. And then, of course, GT Heroes, where they share the universal GT link that is 2 key and 10% attack and defense at full level 10. So, again, in terms of key and cohesiveness, these units are absolutely set. Um, well, I would say especially Goku is, because, you know, he is not going to struggle for anything. He's going to be super good on every single team that he's on, because the fact that he has prepared for battle and shocking speed allows him to link up extremely well with whatever unit is on that team. Okay, alright, let's go ahead and let's take a look at Vegeta. So again, Vegeta's leader skills are going to be the same. Uh, Super AGL, 3 key, 130% to stats, and then Extreme AGL, 3 key, and 90% to stats. Um, his super attack greatly raises defense for one turn. It causes immense damage to, to the enemy, greatly lowers defense, and raises attack by 30% for 6 turns. Uh, before, his super attack effect was just greatly lowering defense, so uh, I think Vegeta did get a lot of stuff added to him. Uh, you know, the Greatly Raising Defense is super good, that's super solid. Uh, greatly Lowers Defense, again, not really good at all. And then he also raises his attack for 6 turns. So at least this Vegeta is also going to be able to put up some really, really impressive numbers. Though, you know, before his EZA, this Vegeta was actually a lot more defensive oriented than Goku. Um, Alright, so Vegeta has 150% attack at the start of turn, and he gets 120% to defense. Before, that was just 120% to attack and defense, so the only thing that increased was his attack. And then he also gets the additional 40% attack on super, and then he still retains the 30% chance to dodge, um, you know, enemy super attack, and then counter. Alright, so this Vegeta, I think, is probably going to be at a better defensive stat, because again, he has 120%, and he's at 12k. So this Vegeta... Even before his EZA, he was like 
like in terms of defensive stat he was like at around like maybe 130k 140k uh you know easily without you know the greatly raising defense for one turn uh so after his eza with 12k 120 percent to defense his defense should be at around even if we lowball it and make it like 140k 150k the fact that he greatly raises it for one turn let's let's just take 140k Half of 140 is 70k, so you take that, boom, he's over 200k defense already. So, not even counting additional super attacks, which do matter because, again, this Vegeta is AGL, so he automatically has a 5 additional built into his kit, not even counting the equipment that you decide to put on him. So already, again, this Vegeta is looking very, very good. This is a, an extremely good easy for this Vegeta. Uh, so, in terms of turn 1 defense, I, I would suggest running this Vegeta in slot 1 if you want to do a rotation of Goku and Vegeta, but then I would change it to then Goku being in slot 1 when his, you know, full defense has been uh, built up. Alright, so, again, very, very impressive already from, uh, from Vegeta. I do think he's going to be super good defensively, but again, it's not, I mean, we're not going to know for sure until we see in-game. Alright, um, again, Link Set... You know, for both of them, it is basically the same thing. Uh, the only difference is, is Goku has Kamehameha and Vegeta has Saiyan Pride, but literally every single other link is the same. So again, you can run these two as a rotation. The only link they're not going to be sharing, well, for G, uh, well for Vegeta is going to be Saiyan Pride, and then for Goku it's going to be Kamehameha. So again, these two as a rotation in the legendary GT Goku event is going to be really good. But um, Vegeta is going to take damage from a super attack. I don't think he's going to take too much damage from regular normal attacks. Uh, the only thing that I'm a little bit scared of is, say, you know, Vegeta basically getting hit with a super attack. Now, that would absolutely hurt. Same thing with this Goku. Um, unless they have type advantage, you know, even if you have, like, plus 200k defense, you're going to take, like, 300k on a super attack, if not more. So, you know. These two can definitely get the Legendary Goku event done. It's just that you are going to have to make sure that they don't get supered, which is the only issue. But again, most units in the game, if they get supered by that full power Goku, will get hit for like 300, 200k. So, you know, that is to be expected. So, all right. Um, and then Vegeta is on quite a bit of other category teams than Goku. Again, this Goku's from his fight with Baby, that's why he's not on the Shadow Dragon Saga. Because, again, Vegeta only goes Super Saiyan 4 in the Shadow Dragon Saga. So, huge help to Shadow Dragon Saga. Again, the Universal GT Link. Uh, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's family, which did need the buff. Worthy Rivals, of course, needed it. Saviors as well. Giant 8 Power. Uh, Miraculous Awakening. Prodigal Warriors. And then GT Heroes. Um, Alright. So this Vegeta, I think, is probably going to be just better overall as a unit. Uh, the reason I say that is because I when, see, when I evaluate a unit, I'm looking at the whole unit as a whole, where they're going to be able to help, their link set, their passive, everything. I do think Vegeta is going to be, you know, obviously better defensively turn 1 than Goku, just because, again, he has a higher defensive stat, he gets 120% to defense at the start of turn, he greatly raises it for one turn, while Goku, on the other hand, he does have start of turn defense, but he does have to build it up for six turns. Um, and then this Vegeta, again, he's on a lot more category teams, so he's going to be able to help out and buff a lot of, you know, other categories that need the help, um, unlike Goku, because again, really the only category here that needs the buff would be just maybe Miraculous Awakening, which is a really good category, but it is very small. And then maybe you can make the case for Giant 8 Power and GT Heroes, but, you know, if we take a look, quick look at Giant 8 Power, you know, in terms of just, like, units on there, I mean, they're kind of set. Yeah, they have Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, they got the OG Super Saiyan 4s, they have the, uh, the, uh, they have the 120%, you know, Super Saiyan 4s, they have the new Dokkan Fest Vegeta, the new Dokkan Fest Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. So, they're not really missing out in terms of firepower, you know, Wrathful Broly. But, um, again, just adding more categories to it is always a good thing. So, I guess you can make a case for that. But, um, overall, I would say Vegeta's, in my opinion, just a bit better. 
because again he's going to be buffing worthy rivals which needs it saviors vegeta's family um prodigal warriors again you can make the case for giant eight power so overall oh shadow dragon saga for sure so again you could make the case that vegeta is going to be a little bit more helpful than goku uh, but um i do think both of these units are going to be extremely good in whatever category team you decide to run them in i would just of course put vegeta in slot one because vegeta doesn't have to build up you know like goku does you know because goku needs to raise it for six turns so anyways guys that is going to do it for today's video again overall i would say that i am extremely impressed with, with, with what they did to the super saiyan fours again i knew that they weren't going to do a whole lot to them just because again the super saiyan fours were already super super top tier even before their eza so this was to be expected that they didn't do too much to them uh because again you know they can't go too crazy with them uh because you know i mean there is no like technically like game balance in this since it's like pve but um i think they were a little bit afraid of making them too busted if you know what i mean uh so anyways guys that is going to do it for today's video and i will see you all next time the name of this one is rose <laughs>